Discover Music series, Shanoa Latimer is going to do part two, what we refer to as What's All That Jazz About? or All About Jazz. We are kicking off this evening because tomorrow starts Jazz Fest. This is our second year doing Jazz Fest. It's a three-day event. It begins 7 o'clock tomorrow night, and I have handed out a few of the um, preliminary programs so that if you're interested in coming, you'll see photos and bios and information about each of the groups over the whole weekend. So events start tomorrow night at 7, same time as, and it will all be here. For Jazz Fest, this entire room is set up cafe style so that it's more like a, bit, a bistro. We'll have refreshments for sale and some for free. And um, we hope that you all come. The, um, this evening, you're going to learn about jazz. If you don't know about jazz, you'll get a little bit of a story. That we refer to this as a demo lecture, and it's a, a one hour long program so that you can get a little bit of information about a big topic, little bite sized chunks, and then you put it all together. So when you come over the weekend, you can say, oh, I know what they're doing now. That's, you know, that, that pattern repeats itself over and again. He's going to tell you that. Um, I've seen a lot of you who have been repeat performers, I shall say, no, repeat, repeat patrons, and I thank you very much for coming. I see some new faces, and I hope that some of our new friends will come to other events. I understand that you're also a jazz performer? Yes, that's right. Okay, what instrument do you play? I play uh, tenor sax, oh. clarinet, and flute. Wonderful, wonderful. So maybe I'm a good friend of... Of Chanel. <laughs> Chanel's got a lot of good friends. She's got a lot of friends. Yeah. You, do, you realize that one of the reasons Chanel was doing this tonight is because he's so busy he could not perform in Jazz Fest with us. So, uh, so you're very, very lucky to be treated to this private little lecture. Yeah. I, I really um, look forward to chatting with you all. If, uh, if you see me run out, it's because I am waiting for a very important message. If I run out, I will see you during the weekend. If I don't run out, please stop and see me, okay, and tell me what you think about this program. And thank you very much. You. This is Gerard Lefly, one of our board members, and he's also a wonderful photographer. So Gerard, thank you. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> yeah, well, usually I would wait to say this uh, when Linda leaves, but if you give me a shining review, I'll give you each 50 bucks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. And, you know, um, I want to I wanna echo something that Linda mentioned about uh, the, the Jazz Fest. Uh, you know, if, if you can make any of the performances, I, I really recommend it. Uh, pretty much everyone on the roster I have either played with before or I know personally uh, or I have heard a little something of. And it's, it's definitely, as we like to say uh, in entertainment, it's packed. Uh, so uh, you will be definitely treated to some great music. Um, well, allow me to introduce myself. Uh, I am Chanel Lather, and I think half of you may know that, and maybe the other half may not, but you do now. And um, as you see, I play the saxophone, and um, I do kind of a weird thing for a living. Um, and actually, if I was playing, I'd probably have played to that. <laughs> uh, I do a weird thing for a living, uh, and that is I improvise, basically. Uh, what, what I do uh, during, I guess, the course of my performances varies with the genre, but for the most part, there's a lot of improvisation in what I have to do. And uh, when I first started performing, uh, in, I guess professionally, in public, uh, it was, I was struck by how many people would come up to me and say, oh, you know, that jazz stuff, um, I want to like it, but, and there's always the but, you know. <laughs> Usually after the but, there was, but it's, there's no form to it, or but I don't understand it, or this or that. And that's how I came up with the idea of my original program, which I called What's All That Jazz About? Now, um, if you were here back in April, before I actually went on tour with that particular program on the East Coast, um, you got treated to basically part one, or I should say the first half of the program, because um, I had a few good questions and I didn't get to finish the program, <laughs> so today I will actually finish the program with part two, um, uh, but I will do a very quick recap of some of what I talked about last time. So. Um, 
All right, so jazz. Let me dispel a myth for you right off the bat. And that is that jazz is nothing but, you know, you randomly moving your fingers around, uh, you're hoping for the best, basically. You know, there's no, it's just all free, there's no structure. And so, with that in mind, let me treat you to some grade A all American jazz, the way they say it is. Um, let's see, you know, randomly moving my fingers about. <laughs> No one's tapping their foot. <laughs> now, uh, hopefully that demonstrates that uh, obviously if it was random, it would be noise. That was noise. Uh, good jazz is not noise. Um, it is actually structured, believe it or not. And what I talked about in the last program was basically how do you find the structure. Um, that is. Essentially, you just you have to understand what we call song form, okay? And very briefly, again, like I said, this is just a, a quick little recap. Um, there's different types of songs, song forms in, in, well, jazz, but really music in general that are very commonly used. Um, probably the most common one that you would come across and probably the most uh, easily recognizable is the blues. And um, what I did during that segment was I performed the blues by uh, Sonny Rollins, it's called Tattered Madness. And what I did was, I played the song in, in a true jazz style, but then I had the song play itself back, and I sang to the song with the lyrics from Elvis's, You Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog. <laughs> and the reason I did that was because I was trying to show that the blues I was playing by the jazz artist Sonny Rollins had the exact same structure as Elvis's, okay? So, uh, uh, and, then I, and then just to show that I knew what I was doing, I would switch back and forth between doing the melody of Tenor Madness and singing You Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog. Now, uh, that's kind of like doing this. You know? <laughs> now, if I had roller skates, that'd be something. But, uh, so anyway, so again, so, uh, song structure is important. Uh, another common one is what we refer to as AABA. Uh, a great song that demonstrates that is Body and Soul. Uh, if you're a fan of the swing era, you might want to check out Satin Doll. So, and uh, actually, I might sneak a couple of those songs in uh, in a second. Um, so tonight, the focus is going to be a little bit more on what exactly is it that we're playing. You know, we went through the structure, but now we're going to go through the actual language of it. So. Uh, Oh, a little bit of housekeeping before I perform the first selection, just so that you know. Um, I keep a mailing list, so you may put your email list and your name, uh, I'm sorry, your email address and your name, and uh, you'll get a monthly newsletter to let you know what I'm doing next. And I have a website, and it's really difficult to remember. ChanelLatimer.com. How about that? <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, I think what I'll do is uh, I'll actually perform Body and Soul first. Um, and I have to warn you, uh, <laughs> actually a few people were here when I was fighting with that. I, I'm having a little technical problem here. So the music will play, but you will not hear piano. But you will hear bass and drums along with me. Uh, it's not so much of an issue because, believe it or not, people actually hear from the bottom up. Okay, so this will be Body and Soul. I'm going to perform the song as I guess I normally would with, with a band. Uh, and then we're going to go back and I'm going to explain some of what I did and how you listen to uh, how we actually put together our solos. So. All right. Here. By the way, I'd like to introduce to you what I call my budget band, my iPod. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Thank <laughs> you. 